Do you find yourself in a situation where you're stuck in your job? And by that I mean you are passed on for promotions, raises. Nobody even brings up the topic. No one gives you responsibilities that stretches you. As a matter of fact, you've been at the same point doing the same things over and over again. Like you've been set to autopilot such so that you can even do your work whilst you are asleep. Well, in today's video, I'd like to share some thoughts with you about how your value is linked to your compensation or your salary. And if you're able to increase your value, your compensation will automatically increase. Your compensation is a reflection of how your employer perceives your value. Now, before you start to argue, I'm not saying your compensation is a reflection of your value, but a reflection of how your employer perceives your value. So now let's take a look at why compensation and value will always be linked. Number one, Determining your value doesn't lie with the powers that be. Actually, it lies with how much you are able to demonstrate your worth or exhibit your worth. Let's take for example, maybe a company or an organization has reached a place where they have to lay off some people. They've drilled down and realized that maybe in the customer service section, they need to lay off two people. So there's James and there's Nadia. Now James has been with this company for the past 20 years. He clocks in and out on time. He fulfills the basic requirements of his job. And he's really used to the customer service script and can recite it by root anytime someone calls with a query. And as I speak to you, James is earning 100 Ghana CDs an hour. Now hold that thought. Let's talk about Nadia. Nadia is also in customer service, has been there for five years, has gathered some professional certifications. She also clocks in and out. She also knows her customer service script. But however, she's just decided that I'm going to go beyond the basic requirements of the job. And this is what she did. She actually listens to what a customer is saying what she's telling the customer and their responses. And because of that, she's been able to help modify the script over and over again, which has led to 10% increase in customer satisfaction, has impacted sales by 30%. Now, when you set these two people side by side and one has to be kicked out, who would it be? Without question, that would be James. Why? Because James, is costing the company a lot of money. If they kick him out, they'll bring somebody in, they can train in just two weeks to do what he's doing and pay him less. If Nadia should leave, the company will be losing 10% increase in customer satisfaction. There will be decrease in referrals and repeat businesses. So there's no way they will let Nadia leave. Now that's value. So I need you to sit back and reflect over the course of the years I've been with this company. What has been my real value? What has been my real contribution to this company? Number two. There's a tendency to think that I've been here for so many years. So as the years go by, so should my, my salary increase. But that's not the case. Nadia is someone who has put in work. She's done her certifications. She's gone ahead of herself to do more work in terms of modifying processes and structures. Now let's take James. If James should move from this company into another company, they will start him off from, let's say, 50 Ghana cities an hour because that's what they probably pay their beginners. But he's been here and somehow believes that I've been here for so many years, so then my money should increase. But that's not how it works. It's about what you do in those amounts of years you've been there. Are you contributing any value? to the business that's the question you should be asking yourself so that's point number two your value is not connected to how many years you've been there it's how much you've 
impacted the bottom line. So just take a step back again and look at it. How am I contributing value outside of the number of years I've been here? So what I'm saying is value is not a function of time. All of us have 24 hours in a day. And whether the company pays for it or not is what you're doing with those 24 hours that matter. Number three. Now, this is a touchy one because people debate, should people be seen as assets? Yeah, people, should they be just seen as a resource? Well, it's true that people should be seen as people. But in this video, we are trying to get into the mind of the employer. The one that has the power to increase your money. The one that has the power to push your promotion. We are getting into their thinking. When they look at the employee, what do they think? Okay, they see an asset. When they see the employee, they see an asset. And your salary is an investment into that asset. That's what every employer or every CEO is thinking when they see you. So... The way they will probably pump, let's say, 5,000 CDs into a marketing campaign, hoping to get four to five times what they put in so that they don't just break even, but they actually make profit. It's the same way. If they're paying you, let's say, 1,000 Ghana CDs, they expect that your output should produce four or five times that. And if that is happening, they are happy not only to keep you there, but to keep you satisfied so that you'll be even more productive. So you need to think like a CEO whilst you're on the job. The CEO is thinking investments into an asset so that I get more. So this is where you sit back and say, hey, this is how much I'm getting. How much am I actually doing on a daily basis to impact the bottom line? The moment you're, you're not thinking like this and making these permutations, the employer just writes you off. So you're there. No one is having any discussion with you. You probably realize that they bring someone in who is doing the same thing you were employed to do and they are paying the person more because the person is bringing value. They don't see you bringing any time soon. So these are the three ways you should be thinking about value, salary, and compensation. So instead of going to say, my, my wife just delivered, my responsibilities have increased, I think it's time for a raise. Or I've been here for 20 years, I think it's time for a raise. Begin to reevaluate your place in the organization. What you've done up until now, your capabilities and how you can move yourself going forward. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'd like to know your thoughts about this. So comment, like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification button so that you'll be notified of my next video where I get to talk about how to increase your value as an employee. Thank you.